So in this one, we're gonna talk about dynamic URL routing. What that means is our URL is gonna to correlate to our query to the database. It's gonna be very similar. And the best way to know what this is like is by checking out the admin. So if we look into the admin and we see in posts, if I go to any individual post, I see right here, it says admin posts post, and then it has a number here, which is related to the ID, and then it has this change. So that's another part of the URL. But this 13 is the important part here. So let's just say this is post 13, and I'm just gonna change my content to being that. We'll save it. And then we'll go back into our post detail. And we're gonna change this to querying post 13. So if I go back into the view, we'll change the ID to 13, save it, refresh, and now it says exactly what we expected it to see, which is related specifically to that post. So we wanna change our URL to update accordingly. Now to do this, we go into our urls.py and we're gonna add in a new part to our detail here. So the detail URL, we have to add in a new part of the regular expression. And I'm just gonna write it in for now and I'll explain it in just a second. So this is it right here. So this is a new parameter with the name of ID. It's only gonna accept digits and that's how this regular expression works. And then I'm gonna put a little slash at the end there. So now that we've got this, um, I do wanna mention their regular expressions can get a little complicated. So what we did is create a very simple guide for a lot of common URL regular expressions, much like this. We'll show you that guide in just a moment, but I wanna show you actually how this part works. So now that we've got this here, if I refresh inside of here and just add one, um, I get this post detail got unexpected keyword argument of ID. Now that's our view function is getting a unknown keyword argument. That is a keyword arg argument being in here, we have only one argument being passed. So if I come in here and say ID equals to none and refresh in here, it's now accepting it. No, so if I change this ID, let's change it to ABC, and I refresh in here, again, it's giving us that same issue, and I go back into the view and change this to ABC, now it's going back to what it was. Now, I would keep it, if I was you, I would keep it as ID because it's more robust and you probably are more likely to understand what that is. PK is another option. That's Those are literally the two options for um, best practices between the two, either PK as in primary key or ID as in ID. Um, so, um, or identification of that specific item. So back into our post detail, we're gonna say ID equals to none. I'll refresh in here. And again, it's still working. But what we can do is make it a little bit better is in our post detail, this get call here, we can now ch replace the 13 with ID, that is of course the parameter that's being passed. So we don't need this equals none anymore, we can get rid of that, and we can just leave it as this. And the only reason I added is equal to none um, is because it's it's um, technically a keyword argument, not a um, just a standard argument, right? So, or, or parameter, it's a keyword argument, not just a regular argument. Um, so that means it's named. So this is basically saying, hey, this is a named parameter in here. Um, okay, cool. So if that's confusing, um, let me know in the questions. We'll kind of clarify that a little bit more if need be. Okay, cool. So now that we've got this, let's go back in here and I refresh. And now if I change this to 13, oops, let's go back here and change this to 13. It now will show the posts based off of the ID that they have. So we now have dynamic URLs. Um, this is cool, but there's one thing that I don't like, and I don't like seeing detail in here. That doesn't make any sense to me. What makes more sense is if detail was just completely gone. So I'm gonna just remove detail, save that, refresh, and just get rid of this detail here. And now we have our posts actually showing up according to this digit, right? So this is our, our allowing us to actually separate our posts out and have a dynamic view for that. Now, the last thing that I was gonna mention was how to use regular expressions otherwise. So the common URL regular expressions are on our GitHub guides. So if you go to joincfe.com slash guides, this will take you to our current location for guides, even if it changes from GitHub, where um, you will find this guide called common Django URL regular expression patterns. So if you click on in here, 
um, you will actually see all of these different patterns. One of them being username, so it's like gonna validate whether or not it's username. And then if you go down, we see object ID. So we right here it says order where we put ID um, and, it, and it has some restrictions to it. So if we go back into our post and I just type out ABC, it's gonna give me this page not found. It's not even gonna match this URL at all because of how this regular expression works. That regular expression is only checking four digits. That's what this part is doing. And then again, it's assigning whatever that digit is to a keyword argument of ID. And then that keyword argument is being passed into our view right here as ID. And then we look up the query right here. So it does a lot of things very quickly. All right, so anyways, that's dynamic URLs and um, using dynamic URL patterns. What this does is it just opens a whole world of how our URLs can interact with our site and also how shareable they would be, right? So this ID of 13, I can now share that link to that post. Of course, if it was a live link, I'd be actually able to share that link and people would be able to see it. Um, that's really, really important and that's why dynamic URLs are also very important. So in the long run, you wouldn't want to change this a whole lot, right? So like the, the actual detail view for the URL, you probably want to make sure that you know what you're going to call it. In this case, we're sticking with ID so far, but we might change it later, which is something that we'll have to come back to. Um, so if you have any questions on this, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.